Today we're looking at the Topaz Sharpen AI. We're gonna sharpen up some images and just see how good this uh, program works. So I'm in the program, I'm gonna click Browse Images and I have a selection of images here. I've got, uh, this, uh, got this person here, which is a little bit blurry. I've got a few other images like this and this blurry photo here. And we're actually gonna grab just a normal photo to see how much we can sharpen and get detail out of it. Although we might use something bigger like this cat something like that. We're gonna click open and we're gonna have a bit of a play and see what results we can get. Starting off with the first one, which is this face here. As you can see, it's a bit hard to see, a bit grainy. I'm gonna just sort of zoom out a little bit. It's very hard to see. And it says, I've got some options here. At the moment, I've got it set to automatic and we're gonna play with that first. I'm gonna just crank this right up to remove the blur. And it's done a good job of removing some of the grain and blur, but still not quite as good. But you see here it's chosen out of focus, very noisy, which in actual fact it is. But we don't really have, it hasn't really done a good job of sharpening so far, but we are working with something that has very little information. And you see here it's chosen the subject it wants to actually work on. So we're gonna take this off automatic to see what results we can get. So we've got a few options here. There's out of focus, very blurry. And you can see we've actually got a bit of a face in there now, which is pretty cool. I do think the subject needs to be expanded upon. So if I click on this, I can. it looks like I can hit auto or I can look for people or I can go custom. And you see it's really touched up a bit of everything or I can go back into subjects and refine. And I can see over here what I've been affecting. That's all looking, although I've actually removed some, but I can actually refine this. I can go add and refine the area I think needs to be sharpened. And I click update. Now considering there's very little information, that's actually not too bad. But uh, it's still it's still not a very coherent picture, but we have definitely thrown a lot at it. Um, so a bit unrealistic to expect it to be able to work with this. But I can go through and try these different profiles. Try motion blur. But overall, out of focus, very blurry, seems to be the best, or even standard, we can try standard. It looks like what we're gonna get, out of focus, very blurry is gonna be our best shot. Not the best result. So I'm actually going to not use this image, but you can see at least we've sort of established some limitations at the very least. So let's move on to another photo. We've got this cat photo and it's actually reasonably sharp already. So by going in the opposite direction, choosing an image which is already a little bit sharp, you can see how much the whiskers are actually sharpened up here and we can dial it back, suppress the noise a little bit and we can even add some grain if we want to, but we can actually sharpen up existing photos so that they really stand out and really grab your eye. So that's something else as well. And I can, I've got this on automatic, so I'm gonna turn that off and maybe I could just say too soft and we get a bit of a sharper effect and get a standard. I'm gonna pump the remove blur up a bit. So you can see we can sharpen things up a bit. It's almost like really hitting that sharpen filter in Photoshop, but I do think it's probably just a bit better. So uh, a pretty cool effect on an image that's low resolution, uh, not too bad sharpness wise, but pretty interesting what we can achieve with it. So I'm gonna move on to another image now Oops, here we go. Now, this image is actually quite blurry. And I've actually used the Gigapixel Upscaler in a previous video and got some pretty awesome results from this. At the moment, the results are actually not as good because it's not using the AI to add in faces, but it's still sharpening it up a bit. And if I crank that blur right up, remove blur, I should say, it actually does not a bad job of bringing out some of those details. But I can, once again, turn off the auto and try standard once again. And that's not too bad. Bring it up a bit more. And you can see it's actually really started to bring out the details of the face. If I move on to the other face, it's actually brought out some details there too. So that's not too bad. It's not really using AI on the faces like it did in the Gigapixel Upscaler, but it is still bringing out a lot of information on this very blurred photo. And once again, I could play with some of these other things such as motion blur, very blurry, out of focus, which I think has the best result so far, if we check it against the other face, or too soft. But overall, the other face has done a better job with, with the out of focus, very blurry. So I think that's a, that's a pretty good result. 
considering what we're working with. You've managed to work, work really well with the blur, and it's used AI to fill in some details. Still not as good as what the Gigapixel Upscaler did, which is made by the same people, but still an impressive job sharpening up. So now we're gonna move on to another image. Now this one, we're gonna zoom out. Maybe we'll zoom into 50. So this says focus and it's sort of hard, but you can see it over here. I'm actually really trying to give this thing more than it can handle to see what results we can get. What I'm actually gonna do is crank that remove blur all the way up to full and it's removed some of the grain and it actually looks not too bad. But out of focus, very noisy. I'm gonna change that out of focus, very blurry. And it's actually really sharpened up those edges. Even though it's still glowing, you can see how sharp the edges are on this image. So now when I zoom out, and you can see it has actually sharpened it up a bit. Hasn't done what I thought it would or what I was attempting to do, but you sort of get the idea. But uh, we're gonna add in just one more image, just a standard image of the internet. So I'm up top here to open images, and I've got, I've got this monkey image here. Now, if you look at this image, you probably might, might not see a lot straight away, but it's added a lot of detail. Check out the details added to the hair and the log here. If I turn it, turn it down a bit, it's still actually very much sharper and more outstanding of an image. And I can actually go through and try different models again. And you can see how it's still really enhanced and brought out more detail in the image. So it's a great tool just for sharpening up even decent images or images that are slightly blurry. But when I'm ready, I can check the images I want, go to save over here on the right, and I can set this up to save and batch save them. And it's pretty straightforward and easy. I'll actually hit save now and you'll see it has a little progress bar and you can save your images and uh, that's pretty much it. That's how it works. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving it a like. If you want more information on Topaz, hit the description below. I've got a bunch of videos there. Otherwise, have a great day and I hope to see you again soon.